So for most brides, when I would have heard the weather report, I would have panicked. You know, I would have said, oh my gosh, what's this bride going through? She must be a mess, she must be. But not you, Christine. Somehow I felt that you were gonna kind of navigate through this as cool and calm as you navigate through all of the challenges of life. Now, don't tell me I'm wrong. I'm assuming that that was right. You know, I had a kind of this image of you as kind of like a modern Disney princess, you know, kind of like uh, Mulan or Belle or something like that, you know, just going through this with great fortitude and strength, okay? As in every princess, you need a prince charming. You found one. He's beautiful, right? You're beautiful uh, together. And uh, for sure, you are looking for a happy ever after. And you're going about that in the right way because you have made the decision in your life to respond to God's call to the sacrament of marriage. What Anthony and Christine do today is they allow themselves to be drawn more deeply into God's wondrous love through Jesus Christ, our Lord. There are three things I think that uh, they understand are really important for living out the sacrament of marriage that they will begin today. First of all, you know as a couple how important it is for you to keep yourselves grounded in prayer. Keep your hearts open to God. I, Anthony, take you, Christine, take you, Christine, to be my wife. To be my wife. I, Christine, take you, Anthony, take you, Anthony, to be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. The second thing I think which is very important to Christine and Anthony is that they help one another grow into virtuous people. God has given you to one another because he knows that you can help one another be the best versions of yourself. each other and take a mental picture of today. Look back on it often and smile. Cherish each day always as well as each other. There are always going to be plenty of disagreements, curveballs, time for celebrations, and time for tears. But don't sweat the small stuff. Always reflect back on why you're here today, your teammates, and are more powerful as a unified front. And lastly, let love forever be your compass and God be your guide. He never steers you wrong. Congratulations to Mr. Milano and his beautiful bride. May happiness follow you wherever you go. I'm so glad that two very good, genuine people found each other and are building a joyful life together, hopefully one day starting a family of your own. Let's all raise our glass to the newlyweds. Enjoy your much needed and well-deserved trip. I wish you boundless good fortune. May you love each other, lean on each other, laugh together every single day. And I and everyone else in this room wish you many years of happiness. I love you both. Salud. If we could all raise a glass to Chrissy and Anthony. May this marriage kit help you weather all sorts of storms that come your way and prepare you for your new adventure together. Congratulations and cheers. And finally, as you know, God has called you together so that your love may make this world 
a better place. Your love enriches the world and makes the world more beautiful and a more caring place. And that's the call that God has given you.